Okay, this is just a uh, short video to show you my new setup. I got rid of my mobile cart that I had my CNC on because I thought it was too small, even though it was nice, but this is what I have now. Um, I just built about a four foot by four foot cube in the corner of my garage and uh, have some soundproofing. Actually, the soundproofing's up here on the walls. I'm not quite finished yet. I need to add a few more tiles just because um, that is the neighbor's wall behind that. And down here, just some foam floor mats to help with the vibration and the noise, so it's not sitting on the on the uh, MDF base, I'm making a bunch of vibrations. And I have this fold down door here to help control the dust and also some of the noise. Works pretty good. And let's see over here. I just got uh, that's where I keep my CA glue and tape and uh, spray for that, holding down the work pieces. And down here I have my high output air pump to blow the dust off of the work pieces as I'm working. And here's the control box. And if you notice here I've got a little protective outlet cover because I hit the emergency stop one too many times while I was uh, working on a project and got too close to the button so now I just have this taped on so I can close that and not worry about you know messing up my spit or um, my workpiece and having to start over or anything like that so that's that and then over here this is where I keep my computer to run to run the machine through candle so that should about do it for that. And I have my uh, just some wood storage in my shop back and some other uh, power tools underneath there. Miter saw and belt sander. And then up here is my drill press and oscillating spindle sander. And then again just some more storage. And there is uh, just some rolling work carts. Another rolling work cart there. So I'm just working out of this uh, nice one car garage. And there is the overall. And then I can't forget my uh, 1940s Philco refrigerator that I painted red. And there's my table saw that's just still sitting on a dolly so that I can roll it out whenever I need it. And radio and uh, just some shelving, a tool, uh, cordless drill charger station there. So, and then just to show you one more thing here, or a couple more things for my um, enclosure. Just, uh, I guess you could say the modifications. Uh, I added these um, pieces of acrylic. I bent those, used a uh, torch to heat it up and just kind of bent them to a 90 degree angle. There's also one on that side too. And that is just to help keep the dust away from the uh, lead screws down there. So I did that. And also one other thing, I put these little L aluminum L brackets on here up top. Um, for the X and Y um, movement of the machine, so, so they're just basically stops. So that way when I want to set, reset my X and Y coordinates, all I have to do is jog the machine right over to these pieces of metal. That's just uh, fastened on there with double stick tape. I just move the machine over to the wheels touch, and then I know that the machine is zeroed in on this corner right here. So just to save a little time, not that it's any major modification, but it's just something to uh, make things go a little quicker. So there you have it. And uh, like I said, this enclosure is 4x4, four four, so that way um, whenever the upgrade kits for the Prober XL 
come out they'll fit right in here up to the thousand millimeters I think should fit right in there and I have plenty of room up top uh, I just have a little shop light up there to light it all up so uh, that should about do it I don't think I missed anything if you have any questions or uh, comments uh, feel free to post them below and uh, or just uh, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button see you next time